What? Is that is that a cut? No. Yeah. Oh. Cut. Oh. Don't. Sound don't. Yeah. Don't. We're probably not yeah, gonna. Yeah. It does that. not sound good at all. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was like. Oh. It didn't hurt, so. it didn't hurt. No. It wasn't until y'all were like. So today we're at House of Herrera Studios. House of Herrera. You, you get it. And I'm going to be doing a produ bridal production shoot, so I'm, it's going to be for a good friend of mine named Chelsea, and I'm going to be doing her bridal portraits. I shot her wedding back in April of last year um, when it was all, like, COVID had just started. It was a very interesting uh, wedding, as you can see, um, if you follow my Instagram, and I'll post this um, link up and also post a few, a few of those pictures from that day. But, um, yeah, there was four people there because it was a beautiful wedding venue, gorgeous chapel, but because of the whole shutdown and everything, you know, it was a very small production, like nobody was there, it was just kind of a, a really beautiful setting, but without the people, it was live streamed though, everybody got to watch it. So we are back here, you know, a year later almost, and we are doing her uh, bridal portraits today. So she obviously is, stays fit, she's very uh, athletic, so she still fits in her wedding dress, perfect. And um, I'm going to be shooting her bridal portraits here. We're going to start off with a gray backdrop today. And um, with a nice wood floor, gray backdrop, do a real rustic kind of look to it. Very ethereal, very, um, well, it's just, it's just going to be a beautiful portrait. And I'm also going to be swapping that gray backdrop for my new Paint X painted canvas backdrop, which I've been dying to shoot on since I ordered it, you know, back in November, I think, or October. And um, it took two months to get here because, again, all the COVID, all that stuff that happened, it took a while for that backdrop to get to me, and it finally made it out of custom, so I'm super pumped to use it. This will be my first shoot with it, and who better to use it than with Chelsea for this bridal portrait session. So I'm going to be shooting on a uh, Sony a7R 4 with a, uh, mostly with the Sigma, uh, the new 24 to 70 2.8 Sigma that I recently bought. Um, I also have the Sony G Master 24 to 70 2.8. I'm using both of them. And I will be switching over to a Sigma 105 1.4, the new Big Tank, for some of the close ups that I'm going to be doing today. Um, I'm going to be using Godox lighting today. Um, I'm going to have two Godox 8600 Bowens mounts, and I'm going to have one Godox 8200 that I'll be using sparingly. So I'll be switching it up, and we'll, um, we'll be able to um, really get all the lighting that I want to use to um, light this portrait session up. Like I said, it's very ethereal. It's going to be a very rustic kind of look to it. The way I color graded, you'll see in the after pictures. But I need very soft light, and um, I don't have any natural light in my studio. But I can emulate that with the modifiers and the lighting that I have. I can make it look as natural light as I want or I can make it look more contrasty. But today we're going to use natural light and look for it for the most part. So stay tuned and I can't wait for you guys to see what we come up with. the video you think it's gonna look lazy that I'm sitting down instead of like standing up or so now that we've got her shot uh, initially on the gray backdrop we're gonna pull out this European painted canvas that I ordered for type these types of shots Reaper just like a phoenix from ashes to the zenith oh. 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 
Yeah, I'm gonna be addicted to these, you guys, just so you know. Like, I'm gonna order, like, a bunch of these. It's because, like, you know why I get excited? Because in my head, I can already see, like, what this is gonna look like. Oh, yeah, some So I angled the light so we can get some more spill in that backdrop. So I got some really good full body shots and I'm going to switch to the Sigma 105. This is a big puppy. It weighs like four pounds. See this thing? Look at the front element on this thing. So we're going to get some really good close-ups of her. See how she's posing right now? She doesn't have to do anything. Just she was sitting like looking down that way. That's exactly the kind of stuff I want to get. So that's a wrap guys. We got all the shots that we wanted. Um, we even recreated a shot that Chelsea had from when she was a little girl that we did. And I had this chair, a um, vintage chair that I bought, that I, I got, I didn't buy it. I got it from a good friend of mine and um, it turned out that I used it today for the bridal shot. So um, hopefully um, we'll have these wrapped up in about a week, week and a half. And I can't wait to show you guys the sneak peek. So another successful shoot. And there she is and she's uh, probably ready to go home. Just like a feeling